hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how i created this flyer in photoshop if you're not subscribed now is a good time to subscribe and please hit the like button if you like this video without having to waste time let's get started okay so like we've done in previous video click on file and click on new so this time I'm just going to do um, a 5x5 right resolution 300 RGB everything else stays the same so the first thing I'm going to do is create solid colors but before then I would like to change my foreground color and background color so I'm starting my foreground color so just copy my code that I used right so this is the code that I'm using for this click OK and double click on the background color and use this code so these codes that i'm typing in these colors are going to be basic colors i'm going to use for my design right so these are the two colors so next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and go to gradient on that basics i'm going to select the first one right so i'm going to change the angle use my settings then manually i'm going to push it up like this okay just this way and I click OK when I'm done okay so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my type 2 and I'm just going to type changing the color from to white so I'm going to increase the size also or I can do it manually by pressing ctrl T and um, reduce it from the edge like this make sure i reduce it from the edge right so what i'm going to do with this speed that i typed is i'm going to make in several copies of this speed okay so um ctrl j but i'm going to skew it first hold down ctrl and uh, move it to the position let's not forget the resource file is in the description of this video like always so do well to download it and um you can always follow along all right so ctrl j again and bring this down like this you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move this in place okay so i'll just ctrl z this um ctrl z so with these three layers i'm just going to select them one two three hold down shift and select the top one and press ctrl j to make a duplicate copy of them so i'm just going to bring this one down and move this in place here like this yeah somewhere around here is cool so when i'm done i'm going to select first one select last one Ctrl T on my keyboard for transfer or for then I'll group it and press Ctrl T. Move it to the middle like this. And uh, holding down your control key, your command key, I'm just going to skew this in place like this. Okay, so I'm just going over to my my source file to bring in the first element which is this background that I have here so I'm going to place it directly on top of the gradient layer right make sure you're not placing it somewhere else I'm going to change the blend mode now to screen and I will just reduce the opacity like this because I don't want the effect to be too much I need some nice shade of dirt all around but I don't want it too much so I'm just going to reduce it all the way like this Good. I'm going to go up to the text layer. I'm going to bring in the next element. So double click. It's a Photoshop file. Double click it. It opens in an, another document window. So just drag and drop inside of this window like this. It would be too big when you drop it. So Ctrl T, zoom out and um, resize it like this. All right. Make sure you are following the steps. If by any chance you miss any steps, feel free to rewind and go back and follow through so i'm just going to rotate this so that it aligns with the top 
right edge and the bottom left edge of the speed and when you are done just click enter for you to complete the transformation like this right so as you can see from the rocket there are some few oddities like the fire is um, orange yellowish kind of i want everything to be blue so i'm just going to open it up and uh, you can see this is where i have the fire and all of that so i'm going to select the two of them and convert it to smart object this is the first one press ctrl and u command u on your keyboard click on colorize and follow my settings saturation 100 when you are done click ok change the blend mode to screen guys so i'm going to do the same thing to, to the other fires right click and convert to smart object change the blend mode to screen ctrl u on your keyboard colorize and the same thing applies for this too okay great so i'm clo close this up when you're done okay so i'm just going to rename this layer text make sure to keep your layers arranged and looking simple right so i'm going to revert this right because i need to paint in some um light here i'm going to use the foreground color so with your brush selected make sure it's set to round brush right my flow is 100 so you can select your eraser and um feel free to reduce the size so i'm just going to follow it's this way like this and um, if you make a mistake feel free to press ctrl z and um, you could start again right so i'm going to change the blend mode to screen screen does it here for me okay okay so um that's for that aspect of this design right so let's move on so um i'm going to be doing a couple of things on top here so i'm going to go and select my rectangle too and um i'm just going to draw a rectangle here but it's not going to be a regular rectangle i'm going to select this part and drag it inside to form rounded corners all right rounded corners double click on the thumbnail and i'm going to select this color I'm going to come down here like this. You can copy the color code. When you're done, click OK. So this is the color and this is kind of rectangle I'm using. Go over to your type tool. Feel free to type outside, please. So I'm just going to type. Before I do that, reduce the size. I'm going to reduce the size drastically. Because what I'm seeing here is so, so big. I'm just going to come here and reduce the size to like a 16. I think this is fine. So I can then use this to type what I want to type. So this is going to be trade width. Right? So immediately I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. Right? So I'm going to drag this down. So what I'm going to write here is with ease. So I'm going to double click on the thumbnail and type with ease like this okay so i'm just going to change the color for both i'm going to start with this first align this to the edge and i'm going to click on trade with i'm going to bring this in but i need to make this smaller it seems to be too big so I'm reducing the size i think 11 is a good place to start then of course with this let me increase it a bit so I should be doing the 12. Double click on color and um, give it a white color like this. Okay. So I'm working on the rectangle now. So make sure you are selecting the rectangle layer. Create a new layer above it. Right click on this layer and click on create clipping mask. Go to your brush and uh, make sure you reduce the size of your brush. You can do it like this or use your bracket keys on your keyboard to reduce the brush okay and like this so with the brush selected my foreground set to the color on top 
I'm just gonna paint this in like this make sure you do it just the way I'm doing it like this create another layer again slightly above that layer and I'm going to go over to my ellipse tool I'm gonna draw like this and um, double click on the thumbnail to change the color I'm gonna go all the way up here like this click OK and um, I'm gonna create a mask with this because I need to wipe out some areas of course with my foreground set to black and soft brush I'm just gonna wipe out the top areas right so this is the effect I want to create on this 3d each kind of effects right so double click or uh, right click select blending mode and um, create a drop shadow for the trade width right um, so we're going to reduce the size manually I'm going to drag this inside like this I think you can drag manually too in Photoshop in case you didn't know before so good news now you know so I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the shadow and I'm going to click OK like this good so okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my resource file and bring in this bitcoin here of course i'm going to drag it all the way up then make it smaller like this okay so i need it at that point i'm going to drag this layer all up onto the top layer so make sure when you bring it in it's directly above the rockets layer right so i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this same layer ctrl j to duplicate this okay so i'm just going to rotate it from the edge like this and just so i have something like this all right and also make it smaller too this way so with this one on top i'm going to start since you have a reflection of light here so it's a good way to actually create that illusion too so i'm going to go brightness and contrast right click and um, create a clipping mask sorry not convert this object create clipping mask directly above that layer and i'm going to increase the brightness you can see the effect right and i'm going to work on the contrast let me leave this contrast here before and after but I don't want this effect to affect all around Bitcoin so I'm going to press ctrl I to invert it since you are working in black layer make sure your foreground color is set to white select your brush and just gently double on the areas that are facing the light region like this Um, when you make a mistake you can feel free to go back and correct your mistakes so and reduce the size of your brush also you can also make it uh, reduce the flow also when you don't need areas to be obvious like this just follow my lead guys so I'm going to repeat the same thing too on the top most uh, the second uh, Bitcoin um, so I'm just creating a mask and I'm going to apply the same effect so you're watching this at this time and, if you, and you've not subscribed please kindly hit the subscribe button and um, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now so I'm just going to gently double on these areas um where i have my light reflection areas like this and um before and after right great so um i'm going to apply motion blur to it to the coin itself follow my settings to create an illusion uh, of it being in motion apply it to the same thing to here same effect reduce this a bit or increase it okay let me reduce it i think this is fair enough 
grapes. Okay, so we've got to do the last lap of this design. So I'm going over to the rocket now. I need to create the drop shadow. So if you notice, I created a layer slightly below the rocket. So I'm just going to, with my brush selected, flow set to 100. I'm going to brush in some shadows for the rocket, just like this. Make sure the layer is below the rocket, guys. Below the rocket. Before and after. Okay. Here we go. So for this, I'm just going to reduce it a bit. It seems too much. Okay, like this. I'm cool with this. All right. And um. So guys, this is how I created this flyer in Photoshop. If you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, please kindly subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram via my handle. Alright, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime soon. I'll see you in the next video.